honestly, I didn't even see you there. Um, it's been a busy day. We got a lot of returns uh, today. Yeah. Um, oh, good afternoon. My name is Jimmy, and welcome to Lloyd's DVD Rentals. Um, is there anything I can help you find? So you're not quite sure what to look for. And you're having quite a large bash. At least I think so. Um, well, first off, let me ask, what's the, uh, um, the age? Horror movies. 
on this shelf is family movies. You know, family friendly. You know, Disney movies. Um, you know, things like that. And then, of course, the bottom shelf is holiday. Um, you know, Christmas movies. Uh, Halloween movies, even though we have a horror section right here, um, but there's Halloween movies. I think we even have some Easter and Thanksgiving movies as well, um, but you know we're nowhere even close to holidays right now. Um, so let's start with action and adventure. military or war movies um, we have if you're a history buff we've got some things like um, Indiana Jones uh, Uncharted um, Tomb Raider um, and of course some historical war movies as well Would you like me to show you a few? I like to call them Jimmy's Picks. Um, I promise they're, they're really good movies. Um, I'm quite a huge movie buff, so I don't pick out any garbage. You or your friends um, would happen to be uh, big uh, gamers, would you? You are? All right. As well as a couple of your friends. Okay. Well, that is good news. that I'd like to show you that I think you'd like. Um, I mentioned Uncharted and Tomb Raider. Have you ever played those games before? You have. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Really good games. Super fun. Keeps you on the edge of your seat too find out what's next. Yeah. Well, let me show you this. So, here I have both. The movie adaptations Tomb Raider and Uncharted. Now, me personally, I enjoy them. Um, they have had some mixed reviews um, regarding, you know, portrayals of characters um, and mixing up of events that happened in the games but me personally I really enjoyed them so let's take a look at Uncharted first okay so I'm going to read the back to you Street Smart Thief Nathan Drake played by Tom Holland is recruited by seasoned treasure hunter Victor Sully Sullivan, who's played by Mark Wahlberg, 
to recover a fortune lost by Ferdinand Magellan 500 years ago. What starts out as a heist job for the duel becomes a globe-trotting white-knuckle race to reach the prize before the ruthless Mancata, played by Anthony Banderas, who believes he and his family are the rightful heirs. If Nate and Sully can decipher the clues and solve one of the world's oldest mysteries, they stand to find five billion dollars in treasure, and perhaps even Nate's long lost brother. But only if they can learn to work together. Um, you know, it, it's it's a real fun movie. It really is. Um, Simon Thompson from Forbes says Holland and Wahlberg are top notch and level up the buddy movie. Now, Tomb Raider. Again, really, really good movie. It's a real fun movie. Um, there's definitely some on the edge of your seat uh, moment. Uh, so, you know, that's always fun. Let me read the back. Laura Croft, played by Alicia Vikander, the fiercely independent daughter of a missing adventurer, is driven to solve the puzzle of her father's mysterious death on her own. Armed with only her sharp mind, blind faith, and inherently stubborn spirit, Laura must learn to push herself beyond her limits as she braves the perilous journey into unknown lands and ultimately earns the name Tomb Raider. Now, Mark Allen from ABC TV says this about it. Next level action. This raises the bar. So it really is a, a very fun movie. Full of action. Some suspense. If you're into both of these games, uh, Uncharted and Tomb Raider, they're a must watch. Now, of course, you know Indiana Jones. Stick 
stick with history. I'm sure you've seen these before. But if you're into history, and of course these are not exactly historical, you know, documentaries or anything even close to that. But we have the Mummy series and the Scorpion King series. Um, this has all three of the Mummy movies with Brendan Fraser. And this has one, two, three, five of the Scorpion King movies. Yeah. They made five. Um, most of them, you know, went to, you know, Sci-Fi Channel. Um, most, you know, they didn't even make it in the movie theater. So, you know what that means. Um, just straight up. Full fun. got time to spare, time to waste, you know, and you want a couple chuckles, those movies will definitely do it for you. Um, but now, you know, all three Mummy movies with Brendan Fraser, you know, classics. And, you know, Brendan Fraser, great actor, great guy. Um, definitely worth a watch. Now, just like the Tomb Raider and Uncharted movies, they did do a reboot of the Mummy movie. Um, and this one's a little more Violent and more of a horror um, slasher type film, but uh, it stars Tom Cruise, and it's really a whole different storyline from Brendan Fraser's movie. But it is a very uh, intense, uh, you know, hold on to your seat type film. So, you know, if you're a fan of the, the Mummy series, you know, it's, it's something that you, you have to check out, you know, just to uh, say you saw it or even, uh, you know, compare the two. I enjoyed it, but, you know, some things in this one are just... Yes. Um, quite a bit. Now, since we're in the horror genre, are there any particular horror movies that you enjoy? Besides the classics. Conjuring, Insidious, all right. Yes, I, uh, I did hear about that. Um, we, we do not have that one yet either. Uh, Insidious, The Red Door. Um, what we do have is one, chapter two, Chapter 3, as well as The Last Key. Um, I have watched each one already. Very good movies. You know, will have you wanting to turn the lights on. 
para you haven't seen the last key well um, let me read the back to you uh, the creative minds behind the hit insidious franchise bring you the most terrifying chapter of the series insidious the last key in this gripping Blumhouse film, Lynn Shea reprises her role as parapsychologist Dr. Elise Rainier, who returns to her family home to face the unrelenting demons that have plagued her since childhood. Accompanied by her two investigative partners, Spex and Tucker, Elise must delve deeper into the further to unlock the mystery and destroy her greatest fear. It's it's really good. Really good chapter. Um, I have not been disappointed with any of these. Um, very good, very scary. Like I said, it'll make you want to turn the lights on. Now, it's for The Conjuring. We do have that as well. The entire Conjuring universe. Really good set of movies. Again, you know, enter your seat, want you to get up and turn the lights on type of movie. Now, did you know that these are actually uh, based on paranormal investigations that were done by the Warrens. Yeah, um, of course, you know, they're uh, a little more exaggerated than the actual investigation. But still, it's fun stuff. If you're into those, The Conjuring, Insidious. Let me introduce you to The Curse of La Lebrona. Um, this is from the producers of The Conjuring universe. Uh, let me read the back here. A terrifying timeless legend comes to life in the curse of La Llorona. She is the weeping woman and those who hear her death call in the night are doomed. She creeps in the shadows and preys on the children desperate to replace her own. In 1970s Los Angeles, ignoring the eerie warning of a troubled mother suspected of child endangerment. A social worker and her own young kids are soon drawn into a frightening supernatural realm. Their only hope of surviving La Llorona's deadly wrath may be a disillusioned priest and the mysticism he practices to keep evil at bay. On the fringe where fear and faith collide. It's a great movie. Quite the uh, chilling. Um, and again, based on an actual paranormal issue. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of The Spirit of La Llorona. I guess she, um, she's like on the, the search for her deceased children. Um, something about they drowned or something and her spirit is like restless and, you know, won't rest until she finds them or finds replacements even. Scary stuff. Worth a watch. Now, of 
course, we have plenty more horror movies. Uh, we got creature features like Jaws. I got the whole set of Jaws. Um, we've got Cocaine Bear, which is actually a horror creature feature slash comedy. Um, it's, it's actually quite hilarious. I suggest watching it. It'll definitely give you some chuckles. But, um, we got Lake Placid, um, The Village. The Village is a really cool movie. Um, uh, it takes place, like, uh, back in the 1800s. Kind of reminds you of Lloydville a lot. Kind of reminds you of our, our nice peaceful town. You know, we... Um, we limit ourselves, you know, with some of the outside world stuff. Yeah. But, um, we got Children of the Corn. Ghost Ship. It's another good movie. But, um, that's for action movies. Action adventure. Let's get back to that. Um, is there anything in particular? Particular that uh, you enjoy watching in that genre, besides historical, uh, history-related type movies. What some war movies have we got? Quite a bunch. Let me pick out a few, and uh, I'll show you some of my top picks. And there's a lot of war movies to choose from. Like, you know, like, uh, Midway. Uh, you know, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, 1917. Um, Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, which I'll be showing you, actually. Um, Lone Survivor. Uh, Black Hawk Down. You know, the list goes on and on and on. But I'm going to pick these three out for you. We have Saving Private Ryan, classic. Tom Hanks, um, Tom Sizemore, um, and so many others. Damon, um, you know, huge variety of some really good actors in this movie. And it is a phenomenal tribute to those who served in World War II, to those who lost their lives. Good movie. And it can definitely be a tearjerker at times. So, definitely worth a watch. Plenty of action. Um, you know, that edge of your seat type action. You know, bombs going off, bullets flying past your head. You know, things like that. Highly recommended. Then we have Hacksaw Ridge. Phenomenal movie. Let me read some of the back here. Uh, the extraordinary true story of Desmond Doss, played by Andrew Garfield, who in Okinawa, during the bloodiest battle of World War II, saved 75 men without firing or carrying a gun. He was the only American soldier in World War II to fight on the front lines without a weapon as he believed that while the war was justified, killing was nevertheless wrong. As an army medic, he single-handedly evacuated the wounded from behind enemy lines. 
braved fire while tending to soldiers, was wounded by a grenade and hit by snipers. Doss was the first consensuous objector to ever earn the Congressional Medal of Honor. Amazing movie. Trust me, you'll want to watch it. And then, of course, we have Fury. A mix of everything. A mix of violence. Uh, a mix of comedy. Truth. Action. Adventure. The works. Um, you'll really enjoy this movie. Especially if you're with adults. Um, it is quite the violent. Um, just like uh, Inglorious Bastards is another one. We do not have that one here. But the pair of these is worth a watch. Now, I know you said that, you know, you don't really have time to binge watch any box sets with with your party that you're having, but you did say that maybe on your own time, um, or even with a friend or a loved one. A few that I highly suggest would be um, Monk. Um, you know, it's got it's got your crime show, uh, but it also has some comedy as well. Maybe even some tear jerkers. It stars Tony Shalhoub. He plays a detective, technically a private investigator, um, who once was a detective. Um, but a few things got in the way of his job, and he, he kind of got fired or laid off. But um, yeah, he works with the uh, San Francisco Police Department on cases as a private consultant and you know a lot of his OCD he has OCD and it gets in the way of things but actually helps with cases um really really awesome series I like to say it's Mr. Bean meets CSI It's a must watch. Speaking of CSI, we also have CSI Miami and CSI New York, if you haven't seen that. Now, you're into the paranormal, horror movies, and supernatural. Complete series of The X Files. We have the complete series of the TV show Grimm. Great show. Matter of fact, if you don't rent this, I'm probably going to rent this and binge watch it. So. And we also have Supernatural. This is an amazing show. It really is. Um, it has your action, your adventure, uh, comedy, and horror. It's good stuff. You can take a look around. We have 
even more, you know, than what I'm showing you here. So, huge variety. I'm sure you can, you know, find something. Oh, you like the pics that I picked out for you. Oh, that's, that's good to hear. I'm glad you like Jimmy's pics. Makes Jimmy really happy. Oh yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy loves when uh, when people like his pics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you can feel free to look around. Um, if you have any questions about anything at all, anything. Please feel free to come find me. And Jimmy will be more than happy to help. Okay. Well, you enjoy the lovely day we're having if I don't see you again. Um, I hope that you enjoy whatever movie that you decide on. And I hope you have a, a blast of a party. Maybe you can even invite Jimmy sometime. Jimmy would love that. Alright, well, you take care. And I'm glad to, that, that Jimmy could help you find some good movies. Take care.